Hey y'all, welcome to another video by Fabric Cobble Garage. In today's video, uh, we're going to be tackling the steering wheel as well as I'm going to see about beginning to make something to sit on. Not entirely the seat, but maybe the base for the seat. So that that way, once we have those base, those last two basic things, we can try to get the motor running and uh, go for a little test drive. We still need to figure out a gas tank, which I think we're going to put it back here. But in today's video, we're going to be messing with the steering wheel. As you can see, I got a... Did this a little bit off camera. I got the... This washer here, like I was talking about getting. And then this is the that piece. And I just kind of drilled it out a little bit and pressed it on there. Uh, so now I got some flat bar that I'm going to go from here to the wheel and then I know this is just a carriage bolt But we're going to try it just for the meantime thought it looked kind of cool but uh, yeah, so now What we're going to do is we're going to cut the flat bar Weld this on so it doesn't get knocked off or bent or anything like that or the washer to this piece and then We'll go from there. So as you can see, we got this steering wheel tacked up for the most part. I really couldn't tell before, which is kind of my fault, but as you can tell, the wheel's kind of offset. Uh, and that's not the wheel itself. Well, the wheel isn't perfect either, but it's the steering shaft, but it'll be fine just the way it is. Uh, as you can see, works pretty good. So we'll get it all welded up and get it bolted on and see how it looks like. Alrighty, so as you can see, we got the steering wheel all finished up and put on there. I did, uh, I took the old peg off of the, from the original four wheeler and 
put it in this piece just to get rid of that piece like I was talking about. And I did put the original foot peg things from the four wheeler across here as the idea to put them there. But then uh, uh, Justin came up with a pretty good idea of instead of having your feet inside like I kind of wanted to have them on the outside for a lot more room and comfort and right where this bolt is right here right around here I'm gonna make some pegs that stick out with the the brake and the gas on it so I feel like that would be a lot better and I think what we'll do for the exhaust um, to make sure it doesn't get too close I'm not exactly sure. We'll probably run it just underneath or run it underneath the frame. And then like right about here, let me see, right around here and then out the side or out this side or something. But that's pretty much it for this video. I tried looking at the seating. I think I'm gonna do the seat a lot higher than I was going to instead of putting it all the way down here, put it almost the same height with the side of the frame rail just for more comfortability but yeah so i think it turned out pretty good it's not a whole lot for today but it's definitely steps in a good direction but if you like the video drop a like if you have any comments or questions or anything then leave a comment and if you like the channel, subscribe and check out the other videos and make sure to hit that notification bell to see whenever we post a video and I'll see you in the next one.